We are heading into the Warner Brothers Studio Tour Center today. Watch to the very end of the video to see how you can win this Goonies pin. 40th anniversary coming up. Today we are back at the Warner Brothers Studios for the Warner Brothers Studio Tour here in Burbank to take the TCM Classic Films Tour. Now we were here opening day when they did a big celebration with Warner Brothers officials, Ben Mankiewicz from TCM, but we didn't get the whole tour. So we're back today to get the full experience. Now for the media day, we were able to film on the back lot only because it was a media event, but we didn't see the whole tour. So we'll put a link to that video at the end of this one. But for the public tour today, there is no filming allowed on the back lot, but there are pictures. So we'll edit in some photos, do some narration, and show you what this tour is all about. And there are other tours as well, not just the Classics Film Tour, but this one we have not seen the full one of. And I've been on the other tours, it's always so much fun. If you're looking for a true Hollywood studio tour experience, this is definitely it. I highly, highly recommend any of the tours that you would pick here at Warner Brothers. All tours, including the Classics Tour, start in the Storytelling Showcase, just steps from the Tour Center Lobby. Inside, you'll find the story of the Brothers Warner and their studio history. The mission of the studio was educate, entertain, and enlighten. This room is great for photos as you wait for the tour to begin. At your tour time, you will be taken to a lounge where you can enjoy light snacks and refreshments for around 20 minutes. After which, your guide will lead you into a theater room where you will see a short film hosted by the TCM crew, giving you a brief background on the studio and the classic films it has produced. You will then board your specially wrapped cart and start exploring locales on the back lot, including Hollywood's only remaining jungle set and past the costume department. From there, you'll be taken into the Prop House, a massive multi-level building holding countless props from productions past, present, and future. You'll even see the lake lamp from the 80s classic, A Christmas Story. The tour will take you around the studio facilities. In 1937, Stage 7 was raised 30 feet and renamed Stage 16 to become a 98-foot high stage, one of the largest stages in the world. You will also stop at the Friends Couch and Fountain for a photo. We also passed modern day facades for the hit ABC show Abbott Elementary. We then walked the iconic backlot sets that were the backdrop for countless films past and present. The backlot portion of the tour is unscripted, although the guides will follow a basic path and storyline. Your experience may be slightly different than this video based on current production going on. The guides will do their best to answer questions and if available, open to the public add stops and sites based on guest feedback. Because of this and due to the busy nature of the studio, again, your tour may differ slightly from what we showed you and from visit to visit. That's what makes going to a studio tour so exciting. This ends the guided portion of your three to three and a half hour total experience. Next up is stage 48. Here you will see and experience a variety of interactive experiences, props, videos, and more. You can explore this area at your own pace. Also inside is the Central Perk Cafe, a recreation from Friends, where you can purchase beverages, snacks, and sandwiches and sit amongst the popular series' most iconic sets. There is also a small gift shop. Again, you can expect to spend about three to three and a half hours on the tour for the guided and self-guided portions. Purchasing tickets in advance is strongly recommended to guarantee a spot as they often sell out. There are often discounts for SoCal locals, so make sure you check the website before purchasing. Once done, you will hop aboard a cart to be taken over to Action of Magic Made Here, which is located back inside the Tour Center. Again, explore this area at your own pace and experience a variety of activations from DC Comics, Harry Potter, and Game of Thrones. Exit past the Step and Repeat into the Tour Center Lobby Gift Shop, and your experience is complete for the day. Abundant paid parking is available inside the garage attached to the Tour Center, or you can use a rideshare service and be dropped off right in front. That is it here from Warner Brothers Studios for the Classics Tour. Absolutely fantastic. Our tour guide, Mark, was amazing. So if you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button with the notification bell turned on and follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. And make sure to click on that link for the full press day experience for the Classics Tour here at Warner Brothers. Just as a side note, 2025 will be the 40th anniversary of the Goonies. Can you believe that? And they have all this merchandise out for the Goonies. Now, you do not have to have a studio tour ticket to come into the lobby of the tour center. There is a Starbucks in there and the studio store. You can just go in, get a drink, go to the studio store, buy some merchandise without that ticket. 
um, there is parking in the garage or street parking if you just want to run in and look at some of the merchandise. So for a chance to win this pin, go ahead and comment with your favorite Goonies character and we'll put the deadline to enter everything down in the comments and the description of the video.